what ifs. What ifs? I like what ifs. What ifs with Carlos Kiki. Yeah, there you go. Okay. What ifs is pretty fucking good. You know, I know we've mentioned this before, but <laughs> you know how you're not supposed to live with regrets and blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's one regret I'll have forever. What's that? Not uh, recording. Don't worry if the screen blacks out. It's still going. Oh, okay. Not recording our playthrough for um, Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. We had some good lines. We, we were had playing amazing fuck, banter. Fucking potato Cecil. And it was. It's just. It, it, it's so it good lives, to see you. It's so There's good. There's something to see wrong you. with Dad. Like <laughs> that whole scene, and no one will get our humor because. You and I lived through it, but no one else has, and nobody wants to go through that again. Nobody. Mm-hmm. No, After Years is an awful, awful game. Great characters. Great characters squandered in yeah. a terribly, a terribly designed mobile game, basically yeah. designed for cell phones and designed to maximize profits. It's the worst kind of thing. That entire game was designed to maximize profit, and because of that, the entire game had to suffer. I know. We played through the, um, uh, which version did we get? The we, Android version yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and using the NVIDIA Shield, I, I put it up to the TV. That's right. Although later it would get released on Steam, and that would have been a lot better to play with a proper controller. I know, right? Like, instead of this kind of makeshift crap we were trying to do. It would have been significantly less difficult if we had a proper controller to play it with, honestly. Hey, guy, what a fucking... What is with people? The people today don't know how to drive, man. It's, it's People are fucking lunatics today. They're lunatics unleashed. Why? Oh, man. Why? That's like the third time... Within a span of like, I don't know, three months, you've brought them up. Why are you obsessed with this show? The Lunatics? Yes. Because that show got a bum rap. It actually had some really good elements and it was shat on because it was ruining the spirit of Looney Tunes. You know, I don't think I've ever seen this show. Like, I like I know what it is. I don't think I've actually seen an episode. It, it's okay. Uh, hopefully, Arxis will make a fighting game of it. Right I want Arxis to make a fighting game of, of, everything? Ed, of everything. Basically, like, everything. Card capture fighting. Yeah, uh, you know you want Arxis to do that. What do you want to do at Capcom? Do you remember when I used to be obsessed with card captures? I still really like it, but like mm-hmm. when it first came out and everything. Oh, yeah. And then after that one day, and I was like, "Hey, Carl, I got a, I got a card capture fighting game," and you're like, "What?" I don't like. There's only two characters you can be though. You can be Sakura or Shoran. And like it was. You, you could choose which power you want. You could choose, I think, two cards, right? Yeah, and you had to fight a bunch of the enemy cards. And the final boss was that uh, that ultimate card from the final movie. Yeah. And I remember, because that thing was an asshole. It would cover the screen in explosions and shit. Yeah, man. Um... And then Subasa had to come out and ruin Sakura and Shoran for everyone. Do not make me go through Subasa's. No, we're footage. not. That will not be done on this car cast. Uh, as the driver of this car, I forbid it. Oh my god! What I had to. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We are changing topics. Fuck that. That is not happening. So, what am I looking at right now? We are driving through scenic, scenic Edmonton. This is not scenic at all. No, it's garbage. It's the... uh, Like, there's uh, no grass. Literally... Oh, there's some grass. On that muddy hill. On on our podcast, Two Fat Guys Talk, Dave and I talked about Edmonton being the capital of this important nation in uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. And, uh, you know, I saw some screenshots and stuff. They actually do stuff like take... There are shots of downtown, like our actual downtown, with Gundams blowing through shit and, and whatnot. You need to send me this. I would love to see it. I mean, if you Google it, you'll find it. But I mean, I'm just send me it. I'm. You have the internet. I don't want to. Just send well, it. Well, it's probably for the best. It's Edmonton, right? It turns out a lot of the planet was devastated, so I'm assuming that's the only reason why Edmonton remains because a good, we're so high a, up a north. viable world capital. Because we're high up north and shit. Yeah, because we're we're the northernmost major city on this continent. That's good. Like, we are the... I think we're technically classified a huge city, which we are in terms of land area. It's just 
we sprawl so much so there's nobody here. <laughs> yeah. No, there's quite a few people actually, and uh, I would love Edmonton to be better. It's just that we should have a world class um, rapid transport, rapid transit, and just transit system in general. We should be more like Vancouver, but we're not because of decades upon decades of hyper conservative municipal and provincial government. Um, hey, 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 hey. I don't want this to turn around into politics and shit. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just shitting on Edmonton. I thought you were always okay with shitting on Edmonton. I am always okay with shitting on Edmonton. Fuck this fucking city. Like, earlier this morning, it smelled like fucking... What was that smell? I couldn't even describe it. It, it smelled like rancid... Like poo? An animal shit had coated the city, <laughs> but it was mixed with the scent of shame. Like, like it was... It, it was, was really grotesque. I was just like... Literally, I opened the door, leaving the house. I'm like, what is that smell? It smelled like, I, I want to say it smelled like a farm, but a farm is tolerable. It, more, it's, it smelled like a farm that went wrong. Like a farm you expect to smell like animals and everything. When, I, when this morning, I was like, I don't know what I'm expecting of this smell. We're, we're in the capital of a spacefaring nation with Gundams and shit. Why does it smell like this? Why, did, why does it smell like I cannot detect what the smell it is? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I have some scripts and novels I wanted to set in Edmonton, and invariably I always ask myself why, and I can never answer that question, so you I can't. just don't. If, when, whenever you decide to, um, you have to keep in mind that there has to be a character literally walking somewhere and be like, wow, what the hell was that smell? What is that fucking smell? Welcome to Edmonton. I'm not even joking. I, every person ha that has come to visit, I don't. It'll just be normal, normal, smell, normal, normal. I don't know what the hell it is. Don't ask questions. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just different parts. It's just Edmonton's natural musk. <laughs> just random, random points in the city. And then remember, we were driving down. I think it was Yellowhead, and we we're like, oh god, it smells like like construction, whatever. It, it was normal. Then it smelled really bad, and it smelled like a bakery. Not a, it smelled like fresh bread was made and we're like, we're by a casino, what is happening here? It's this fucking smelly ass fucking city has the audacity to think it's world class. The sad thing is we should be. I'm sure Do old Donny Iveson, shout out to Mayor Don Iveson, is totally like, like looking at himself in a mirror nightly going, why can't this crap town be better? I'm the mayor of this. Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you who don't know, apparently, um, Edmonton is number eight on the top ten places where pizza, like, t like the top for, for ten. Pizza. Pizza. There what, we go. What list was this again? It was like world, the best, world best pizza or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, but what publication or website published this? I don't know. Let me look at it up. Sure. And uh, you know, you told me that the other day, and I had to think about it. And I'm like, you know what? It actually makes sense. We do. For all my shitting on Edmonton. We do got some fantastic fucking pizza places here. No pun intended. Like we, uh, there's the Famoso chain, which is Neapolitan, uh, Neapolitan Italian style pizza. It is super fucking amazing and delicious and so bad for you, but so good. There's um, UFO pizza, which is impossibly delicious. And uh, uh, like my favorite is their bacon cheeseburger pizza. That thing is like, like uh, it's so good. It's so filling. Like. I could almost eat a whole medium of some other place, but at, at fucking UFO, I get one or two slices. I'm like, I'm fucking full. <laughs> so good. This is getting me angry. I forgot what the list was called. I don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, let's just talk about pizza. We don't uh, need, we don't need, we don't need to internet again. verify it. It's fine. No, I do need to internet verify. Sure. You told me not to before. Now I must. Um, Chicago Deep Dish is a place here that. I've never it, been, actually. It's not, it's not Chicago deep dish pizza, but it's like our approximation of it. It's good, but I, I, I secretly suspect it's like a front for a gang or something. Cause, like, I remember one time going there and they're like, "Yeah, wait, what? Like, I'm here to pick you're up like, my order," oh. and, um, and and they're like, "Oh, and like, yeah, yeah, here you go." <laughs> I'm like, "Uh oh, I better get out of here before someone gets murdered." I have to oh, be called shit. as a witness. I've only um I've only had like 
Chicago D disputes that ironically in the Chicago Chicago airport. I can't speak tonight apparently. Mm -hmm. Um and I thought it was really fucking nasty and I was just like, well, it is airport pizza. This so. is true. I've seen videos of the actual proper restaurants in Chicago and how they make it. It's like it's almost like pizza lasagna. It's like the dish is really deep and like the toppings go in first. Like they go in typically reverse order. Like the cheese is all at the bottom and then the toppings and the sauce at the top and it's more like a pie, right? And people say they have one slice of this and they're full. Holy shit. Okay, I found it. It's it's in the cntraveler.com. Fuck a CN traveler. Conde Nast traveler. I don't know. Okay, let's let's assume let's assume they know what they're talking about. Yeah. We got some good fucking pizza here. There's a lot of franchisee, uh, not franchisee, non-franchise, I should say, mom and pop pizza shops I've been to around the city. Don't ask me to remember their names, but sometimes walking downtown, you just feel like a fight, and you see a pizza place and you eat it, and you're like, this is the best fucking pizza I've like ever eaten, and I have no idea where this place is. You look yeah. behind you, the place is gone. And, gone. You know, that's the one thing that's kind of cool about Edmonton. Like they have, okay. yeah, we have a surprising number of restaurants. Just such like, a conservative place, right? And do you remember one day I was really craving a diner? So, like, because we just don't have any diners here, unfortunately. We've tried like Urban Diner, and it's fine. It's just not really a diner. Diner, it's an actual restaurant, mm -hmm. and. Um, We've tried different places that say they're diners, and they're like, eh. Now, um, now let's not take away from the Urban Diner. The Urban Diner is fucking delightful. It is. I'm just thinking about it's a restaurant. It's not really a diner. Well, a diner is a restaurant, right? Like, like it has, it has the trappings of what it's got. It's I got a like bar with diner, stools diner. and stuff, and it's got milkshakes and mm, burgers. I guess. Granted, most diners don't serve, like, one type of really good Chuck burger. Yeah. Ironically, I'm not a big fan of Chuck burgers, so I have other things. Um... What's it called? And then after we were like, we were driving down White Ave, and we're just like, man, I can really go for some breakfast. I don't know. And I was just like, what's Tasty Tom? Tasty Tom's is this little shit shack looking fucking restaurant oh, you know, in the shit shackiest part of White Ave. Yeah. I was literally afraid for our lives when we parked our car <laughs> to go eat there. Yeah, we were both like, I don't know what possessed us to do that that day. We were in a really shady spot, and we we're just like, oh, okay, let's go. And the place looks shady. I know but it They've got great reviews. We go in, packed. Completely packed. But and... One of the best burgers I've ever eaten <laughs> comes from Tasty Tom's at Shithole Corner in White Ave. <laughs> on the corner of Shithole and Shithole. I know. And I was just like, dude, I looked at this. We're like, okay, we parked the car. We were looking at reviews, and we're like, what the fuck? And we go inside, we're like, what the fuck? Um, but no, that was fantastic. We should probably go visit Tasty Tom again. Hey, you want to freak out a bit? So it's, it's, what's the date today? You want to check out for me? The 15th. It's the 15th. While we're talking about like Alberta and stuff, two days ago on the 13th, a tornado touched down near Calgary. What? Are you serious? I am serious. It's fucking in the middle of April. We are having the most unseasonably beautiful April we've ever had in this fucking city. We, we, uh, I, I still think snow is going to come. Oh, it's it, going to come. Look at those clouds. Yeah, look at those. Those clouds look... I don't like those clouds over there. Like, they look like they're gonna either going to snow or be a tornado. If it does not snow this month, it will be the first. It will be May 1st, like clockwork. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, look at the garbage. Okay, I'm going to stop talking Look at the garbage that. around this garbage city. <laughs> We're driving on Anthony Hende. Nothing but garbage everywhere. There is literally, like, look at all the bags. We did have quite a bit of wind. But still, that's I, gross. Yeah, the wind, the wind, it's true. Like, we've been, like, literally every day was super windy. It's just, there's so okay. much garbage to kick around. Nobody's gonna want to listen to this shit. We're just talking about fucking oh, I, garbage, I, 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 wind, I, and Edmonton. When I put it on Twitter, I'm gonna mark it as Yeg, the hashtag Yeg, and people are gonna be like, oh, they're talking about Edmonton, and oh, they're gonna be God. like, those sons of bitches. People are gonna hate us. <laughs> they're going to be so livid. <laughs> We need to change this topic right now. Sure, what do you want to talk about? Um, well, that changed quickly. Um, I do not like those clouds. But look, look at the rays of sun coming from the darkness. That looks, yeah. that's, that's promising. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little afraid. That could be snow or a tornado. It could be one of both those things. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I am. 
well, yeah, we're driving you to the airport. And that's why we're doing the car cast. So it's okay. New topic, new topic. The phone has room and running low on battery. No, it's fine. It's comfortable. Oh my god, are you running low on battery? No, it's it's that indicator is typically a little conservative about how much you got left. So. Just plug in your phone. I'll plug it in when it comes. Have a plug literally right there. Well, I'm under some shit. Hey, so oh, all the oh shit came out. God. Speaking of shit, wow. Did you see all that shit? Oh, good, good. This is the topic. Is, the, is it in? You know what this reminds me of? Um, what was it? it? was like, is this thing on? How do I tell if this thing's on? <laughs> How do you tell if this thing's on? Do you, oh, what is that? I don't even remember. Still recording. I hope so. Uh, yes. Um. Ah, oh shit. I forgot because we got distracted with the charging of the phone. Damn it. And it was a good topic, too. Right, think of another one. Think of a topic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just started getting sleepy all of a sudden. <laughs> well, am I boring you? <laughs> no. I'm just like, mm, I could should go for a nap right now. I should Let's talk about nap. naps. Remember when we used to hate naps when we were a kid? Yes. Now a nap. If they told me at work that I could take a nap, I'd be I'm like, like, oh my god. Yeah, really? Sweet. I know. Naps just go fuck about. off for an hour. <laughs> That's amazing, you know, um, apparently, depending on uh, the location where I work, some pla- like some locations will actually be like, there's a sofa and blankets and stuff for nap time. I was like, wow. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I know a company I worked at, one of my bosses wanted to do that. And then the company tanked. So, uh, but not because of the nap time. Because of business habits. Close. I'm not going to name names. I'm going to say we had some interesting management. I will not name names either. I, I recently played uh, Enter the Gungeon. It's a fun fucking game. Gungeon? And, yeah, the Gungeon. It's like a roguelike twin stick shooter real time. It's fun. And uh, uh, I, 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 I've been playing Mushi Hime Sama, which is Bug Princess. It's a cave shooter. It's one of those shoot em ups where. It looks totally unfair because the whole screen is bullets, but it's extremely fair because your ship's hitbox is super tiny. Kind of like Jamestown. In fact, Jamestown has cave in their special thing I think the last shooter I played was fucking... Um, the one where you go back in time with yourself. Oh, Gradius uh, five. 5. Yeah. There you go. Gradius V, that was the fifth one. Um, when you go back in time with yourself, that's a good way to put it. And uh, that was fun, especially when I would lodge myself. Remember when I was, I was like, oh, Chris, there's just safe spots. I'm like, no, there's no safe spot. And I'd find it every time. And every time you find the spot where you don't have to move at all, and all the bullets would just fly around you. Like, especially in the space vagina. Yeah, this when, giant, useless space vagina. And, and you're like, no, so you have to keep shooting to go through. I'm like, no, I don't. Watch. And I, like, placed myself perfectly so that little buggy thing would carry me the whole way. And you're like, what the fuck? It's, you, you have a knack for in shmups finding the safe spot. Shmup? Shmup, shoot em up. Oh. Because shoot em, it's kind of a way to differentiate between a shoot em up, which is a, a Japanese-style um, 2D... Uh, bullet, like sometimes bullet hell, sometimes not. You got one hit, you got to survive against thousands of ships, kind of game. Versus a shooter, which may be a corridor shooter or a first person shooter, such as a Halo or a Gears of War. Or Doom. Doom also counts. The new Doom is coming out soon, I'm a little worried. Ah, uh, I would Doom. be too. Like when it has Bethesda on the fucking box, I'm always worried. You know, I can't. I can't watch Gears of War. It just... It puts you to sleep. It gets me way too sleepy. Not that it's boring, it's just it's so cozy. Those games are super good, and you hear bullets, and you hear, like, (sighs) lancers grinding grubs, and you're just, like, you're knocked out, completely out. Yeah, I do remember you're like, this, I just check this out, and then you looked at me, and I was, like, passed out on your shoulder. Uh, I'm like, oh. It's like... I'll watch shit that uh, you think I shouldn't watch before bed, like monster bug wars and horror movie scenes or 
stuff like Five Guys at Fre Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares, and the, 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 like yeah, it jolts me when I watch it, but then I kind of get sleepy right after. I tell really? this to Dave, and he's like, I would never sleep if I did that. Okay, I was watching um, two best friends when they were doing uh, Five Nights at Freddy's or whatever, <laughs> and I know I was giggling at Pat. Because he Cause screams like a little he girl. He screams every time, and he get, you can hear in his voice how nervous he gets. Yeah, yeah, I was scared. Matt was getting pretty freaked out, too. Yeah, and <laughs> like, but the thing is, I was getting freaked out with him, even though I was giggling the whole time. The moment I had tried to go to bed, I was like, I gotta watch a Disney movie, otherwise I won't sleep. I gotta, be, like, we're, we're not Bambi, but I gotta find out something else. Why, why, why are you watching a Disney movie if you're trying to get to sleep? Disney movies have some of the most violent, <laughs> horrible villain deaths of any movie. Because it's just, it's just, I've seen it and I'm just like, okay, it's very comforting and cozy and... No one fights like Gaston, does push-ups like Gaston, no one dies a horrible death screaming like Gaston. Speaking of Gaston, have you seen the, um, I'm pretty sure I've sent you a video, but there's this one guy, um... The guy who plays the Gaston at Disneyland. Yeah. And he was out push-upping that guy because that the guy who plays Gaston is super fucking ripped. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just the costume, but it's actually him ripped. Yeah, he could do one hand and put his like. Yeah, one. he was doing. He's just like, look at my friend. And like, I think I should give him a hand. And he was doing one hand <laughs> push-ups. And then he's like, what's wrong? Why aren't you keeping up? And the guy was like struggling. I know this sounds bad, but that kind of makes me wish that Gaston wasn't the villain. That he was actually a bit this oafish, lovable loser who was also really ripped. <laughs> but no, no. He was so close. He was about to realize that he was an asshole. Yeah. And that stupid little prick was like, no, Gaston, you're allowed to assault whoever you want. And he's like, you're right. <laughs> he really, you know, that's the funny thing. If your so brother, close. if your brother never brought that up, I never would have thought about that. He literally sat in the bar. He's like, What's the use? Da da da. I can't think about this. And yeah, he was about to get some much needed self reflection and humility. <laughs> and if that stupid shitbag did not pressure him, he might have come out the, the next morning. He might have been like, you know what? I apologize, Bell. I've been acting like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. I'm that guy's the movie's real villain. LaFou? LaFou. Also, let's not let's not mince words. Whether or not he was goaded into it, Gaston was still a prick. Oh, but, absolutely. Let's not absolve Gaston of his prickiness. But you know who was also a prick? Mm. Fucking um, I keep forgetting his name from Mulan. The the that the guy. Mongolian guy. Yeah. That guy was so. That guy was the most suave prick I think I've ever seen in a Disney movie. He was so. His voice was just so. He was so charismatic and alluring when he was telling people to murder children. Like, yeah, and the, the funny thing is, like, I, I think people have said he's like a boring villain. There's not much to him, but there didn't need to be much to him. I yeah. think he just needed to be presented impeccably, and he was. Plus, he had barely had any lines. He was yeah. barely there. It was just so intimidating because of what he you didn't see about him. He was a true menace. Like he was, he he. he you gotta hand it to Disney, they do villains right, and that guy was so menacing. Like, I think I would rather deal with some of the more magic sorcerer villains Disney's cr cranked out than that fucking Mongolian guy whose name I don't remember. I w I'd rather fight Jafar. I think I have a better chance when he's posturing and being an egotistical prick than I do against martial arts evil Mongolian man <laughs> who will kill me even if I am eight and have a little dolly. Yeah. Like, fuck that asshole. See, Jafar, he... He was intimidating when he was being a fucking asshole. And but, after he wished power for himself, which I never liked. Yeah, he was... He was dumb. Like, he was stupid. He was great in Return of Jafar. He was How the only... How ironic is that? He was the only good part of that shitty movie. Him and his song. That second rate song is still one of my favorite Disney songs, even though it came out of the worst movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Return sense. of Jafar is yes, not yes, good. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. I know, I know. Hell, even the Kingdom Hearts retelling of that for Kingdom Hearts 2 was better than the fucking Oh, movie. what did they do? They did pretty much the same thing. It was about Iago's redemption and whatnot. But why it was cool is that 
uh, Jafar, Genie Jafar gets out and starts wrecking Agrabah, and Sora's like, fuck off, Aladdin, carpet, you and me. <laughs> and so the fight is literally solo Sora versus Genie Jafar with fl fl flying carpet, and Sora wins. <laughs> so he just told Aladdin to fuck off? No, he did not tell Aladdin to fuck off, but basically Aladdin was not involved in the fight. And normally I hate how in Kingdom Hearts Sora usurps the movie heroes, because Disney's characters are way better than Tetsuya Nomura's. But that was the one time, that and Alice in Wonderland, that I was totally okay with it. Oh my god, you were so excited when you went to Alice in Wonderland as the first world, and you're like, okay, I guess this is the first world. Oh. And then you're like, oh my god, wait a minute, I can take care of those fucking cards. Yeah, the queen's like, off with this head, and I'm like, oh, you think so? <laughs> And then I go and bitch slap the cards, and if you're the queen, what do you think? It's like, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know he could fight. <laughs> How fucking cool would that be? Yeah, off with his head, and then... You're and, just a and, deck and then, of cards, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, and the cards are coming, and you're like, bring it! <laughs> like, <laughs> and then there's just a pile of bloody and ripped cards. Do they bleed? I don't know. I don't think they bleed, but <laughs> could you imagine the horrific, like... Faces they'll have if you like start ripping their brethren. Bring it on! And the queen's like, no, no, please. It's just my unbirthday. A very merry unbirthday kill. Oh, shit. Now it didn't go that far, King of Hearts, but I was, I was in your head. It did. In my head, it did. And that and the Return of Jafar sequence are the only times I agree with Sora completely usurping the hero of a movie. About well, his world was pretty boring. His world was pretty dull. You didn't even like the main villain of that was being was helped by a heartless flute. And um, Fuck that world. And Tarzan was involved in the fight, so I'm not yeah. sure how much I usurped Tarzan as much as fought beside him. It was dull. Do we have more to discuss on this uh, first uh, this inaugural or pilot episode of? Fucking call this it. I don't know. Card casts. Card casters. The mythic adventure. Card casters. A drive, say... for, a drive for all time. Card casters. Oh man, now I gotta get a Sakura outfit that fits me. That's not bad. We could get we can get some like people to make cosplay to like make one for you. Yeah, I suppose so. That'll be a weird podcast cover, won't it be? Alright, are we wrapping this up? I think so. Okay, thanks for listening, folks. Who you found this interesting we're gonna do another one eventually <laughs> oh you i was about to say if you found this interesting why yeah <laughs>